look forward to Veterans Day more than Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's just um, we get out and we get to have all this camaraderie. Each year we celebrate the men and women who have served our country here at home and overseas. That gentleman paved the way for me to be here and for you to be here and for the young man over here to be here. For the past 26 years, the owners of Nick and Jimmy's restaurant have honored our American heroes by serving up a big warm thank you. It's a turkey dinner, uh -huh. gravy and mashed potatoes. 2,500 meals were served here last year and it's not just to veterans, but also to firefighters and police officers. And they let the whole family eat. So your spouse, which I think is more important because the spouses uh, are the ones that really are the backbone of the military. According to the federal government, there are about 800 homeless veterans in New Mexico, and about 500 of them are here in the Duke City. There's a lot of veterans nationwide. Uh, some can't afford a meal, and there's others that can't. So, so obviously the ones that can't will appreciate it even more. New friendships were also formed. Veterans invited others to come break bread with them. They shared stories about their time serving. I joined in 1973. Yeah. Vietnam was still going on. It's my tradition, fourth year in a row, like I said. And I'm not, I'll be here next year, God willing. So. In Albuquerque, Katie Munch, KYT, Action 7 News.